Yo, what's up everyone? This is Aid Zenny here. Today you guys are watching my figure review on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the last Bonin figure by NECA. So without wasting too much time, let's get right into it. So real quick, I'm going to go over the box. So the box, you get the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo. It says the last one in on the top. In the bottom, you get this really cool looking illustration of the last one in carrying all of his weapons. At the bottom, you got Nickelodeon, the last one in armored version, NECA. On the right side, you get a illustration of the last one in, which is ripped from issue one or if you bought the recent hardcover you're gonna see the same exact illustration and also on the left side you get a, another illustration of the last ronin wearing his goggles and also in the back you get a couple of promo pics of the figure and at the bottom you get another really badass illustration of the last ronin drawing his katana and also side by that is the synopsis of the last one in story so if you want to pause that you know i mean it's up to you but anyway so when you open this cover you see another promo pick of the last one in and also the window of the figure which i already took it out so that's pretty much it about the box accessories we get a total of six hands it comes with two ball fist hands which comes on the figure straight out the package it comes with two splayed open hands and also two grasping hands for him to carry his weapons. Swapping them in and out is pretty easy. So you just take one out and then put the other in. So just like that, you want to be delicate because you don't want to risk breaking anything. But other than that, it's pretty easy to put in. It also comes with a screaming or yelling alternative head. It also comes with a bandana. It also comes with another one that has like, I guess to give it that illusion that the wind is blowing slightly so taking these off and putting them on it's pretty simple you just see the hole right here if the camera just picks it up all right there we go so you just you just plug it in nothing too complicated i'm trying to do it on camera just to show you guys so yeah not, nothing too complicated you can also do the same thing for, for the regular head that it comes with you just take this piece off and just you know plug it in the hole and there you go and i feel like i need to mention this putting the heads on is really really difficult especially on the screaming head i'm pretty sure i'm not the only one that struggled with this so if you guys do happen to pick up this figure you might want to use like some hot water or something don't use too much of it though obviously that, that might mess up your figure so i guess my method of doing it is just like twisting it doing the 360 degrees then try to push it down Oh, there we go. I got it. Uh, I did it off camera, but yeah, I just did 360 degrees and then just push it down. That that works a lot easier than just forcing it in. He also comes with a pair of nunchucks, four sets of shurikens, real tiny bomb, a single side, a tonfa. I think I said that right. A grappling hook which has like this realistic little rope, just like with the nunchucks with the realistic chains, a bow staff, and last but not least, the katana. And this katana looks sick. I really love the small details that they really put into this katana. I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not, but you can see the texture on this thing. Like even some of the minor dents and scratches because of course you know like he was in battle and man i really love the silver that they use it has this gunmetal type finish to it to give off that realistic look and like man i could just look at this thing all day and here are the weapons fully stored on them sort of there's some parts i couldn't really figure out to put 
which part goes in which like the bow staff right here i thought it goes to here but it doesn't i mean it can fit but not all the way through maybe if i stretch this part a little bit with some hot water maybe that will work but i don't know man like i really tried to put this piece in it's not going through at all the katana barely went through and that piece actually fits in but honestly i don't feel comfortable you know forcing the katana to do like that because i'm afraid it might break that too so yeah there's a lot of parts that might that you might risk end up breaking so i will say it again like please be delicate with this figure but other than that everything looks great on display i know it's not the best presentation of how it looks so far compared to most other reviewers out there but i just figured i'd give you some other idea what it looks like with everything's fully stored on them so yeah also don't bother putting on these goggles i i tried putting them in like multiple times it does not want to fit in it refused to stay on or maybe it's because i'm just an impatient bastard who knows but honestly don't bother don't bother wasting your time on this please like save your time to save it so finally we get to look at the figure itself so i'm just gonna zoom in real quick the sculpting on this thing or on this figure looks amazing i really love the color choices the texture that NECA used on this figure it looks really astonishing i love the how they put a lot of attention to detail on this figure even from down to toes how dirty and how grimy they look i mean it makes sense because you know he you know his the swords is like the other turtles does and, oh by the way before i get more into the design i would not be spoiling who this character or who the last one is just in case any of you haven't read the comic and if you haven't read the comic i think it's really good sad but really good i think you guys will really enjoy it especially if you're an og turtles fan definitely read it but anyway so i would not be spoiling it and if you guys are attempting to spoil who this is make sure you guys leave a warning or something i doubt anyone's gonna do that like anyone who's watching this just, just be careful looking through the comments but anyway back to the sculpting the sculpting on this figure is amazing like i really love the amount of detail they put in like like the scuffs right here on the gunlet all the silver parts like all the scratches and all that everything looks all worn and torn out and also the top of the the armor pads right here look all dirty and beat up like everything in this figure man like i really just love the detail overall i'm really impressed by it and also the head has like extra wrinkles and also a lot of spots on it to give it much more of that mature and older, older look of this mysterious turtle and yeah i think this is about it for the detail and scope and i can honestly go all day just point out every little detail that they put into this figure but i'm not going to because obviously i think at this point it speaks for itself how well detailed this figure is in terms of aesthetics articulation on this guy his head can only go up it can't really go down that much because how the armor the design more specifically about like the shoulder pad area so you can't really get that much but it can look up pretty decent it can also do a 360 degrees around the shoulder it can go out that far only about 90 again because of how the shoulder pad is designed it's pretty limited it can also go back and forth as well so you can still get some movement out of it so it's still better than nothing and also you get like double jointed arms right there and you also get a gauntlet swivel around there as well so that's pretty good and around the wrist area it can slightly bend but not too much though but it's still good enough to give into some decent amount of poses around the leg area it can go this far out in the front the back not so much on the side of that though you get a pretty decent kick you also get a really good dice over going on there so that's pretty good I also get a 90 degree leg bend because the legs are double jointed obviously and also around the foot you get a 360 degrees you get a 90 degree bend and also an ankle rocker or ankle pivot 
So my final thoughts on this figure, I think it's a really solid figure. Definitely worth the $40 that I paid for it. I got mine from Best Buy pretty early. I don't think the rest of it comes out until January 2023. So I got mine a little bit before the holiday. I know, lucky me. But anyway, I love the articulation. I think it's pretty good despite some of the drawbacks that it has with some of the shoulder pads and all that. But I mean, he is wearing armor, so that's what to be expected. So I wasn't expecting like a lot of articulation. You can still get him into some decent poses, as you can see from the photos I'm showing off right now. And it's a really solid figure. I love the sculpting. It comes with like a decent amount of accessories. It comes with a lot of interchangeable hands. I, I wouldn't say a lot, but it comes with a decent amount of accessories. And you can do a lot of you can do a lot with this guy. And so far, I'm having a blast posing this guy. It's a really dope figure. If you're a big TMT fan, if you're one of the OG collectors of TMT figures, this needs to be in your collection. Definitely buy it. You have no reason to miss out on this. So that's why I'm going to give it a 8.4 out of 10. I think it's a really solid figure. Despite a couple of drawbacks with the articulation, I still think it's a very solid figure to have. Even if you don't, even if you're not really a fan of the articulation, I think it's still a really great looking display piece on your shelf. So this has been iZenny. This concludes my review on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Last Ronin figure by NECA. And I will be seeing you guys in the next one. And I hope you guys have a great and safe holiday. Peace.